what's going on viewer today class is in session all right we're going to go ahead and talk about the expertise system and we're going to give us our honest review and probably send a message to the dev and community members all right we're going to go ahead and talk about why people in the community and also in my comments are quitting early because of the expertise system but before we get into the video i have to go ahead and tell you guys we are powered by rogue energy if you guys are interested in their products make sure you stay all the way to the end of the video use code a kings 10 for 10 percent off on their products and i'll go ahead and explain more at the end of the video but right now we got to break down what is causing new players and returning players to disappear man let's go ahead and break it down this is serious when you know what i got to all right, let's get into it. All right, here's the menu of what's causing new players and returning members to quit. All right, so we're going to have to talk about why all these people were wanting to quit early. Look how many weapons and gears we have to expertise, especially as a new player coming in. This is extremely stressful and you have to grind a lot. Now, it's an easier way to do this, but guess what? You have to grind 1300 levels in order to even make this uh, cut the time in half, right? So what is the issue that we're going to talk about? Let's go ahead and look at some of the comments as I'm going to play through the game. And we'll go ahead and, go ahead and discuss on a serious topic. Let me know in the comments below also what you think along the way. And uh, let me see your comments on, do you agree or do you disagree with some of these comments that are about to be displayed along with the video? All right, so let's go ahead and break them down. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. Now, look at these comments, okay? We're going to go ahead and discuss each of these comments. I'm going to go ahead and summarize most of them. You can read it at the bottom right if you would like, but we're, I already read all of them and replied to all of them over the course of months. But let's go ahead and talk about what they're asking, what they're saying. Some of these comments are asking, hey, will they ever take this out of the game? And if not, I'm going to quit. Yes, so look, at why these people are saying this they are starting out at level zero they have to grind all the way to level 1300 to even do half of the donations of printer filaments you guys know the people are that are above 2500 or 1300 you guys know you run a new character and you get to um get shd points at the end and you will uh, use those to either buy credits or buy printer filaments uh, donate to uh increase your proficiency and your expertise level but what about those people under 1300 how are they going to be able to donate if they can't um get their shd from doing a new character run they're going to have to literally grind hours on hours on hours to get to 1300 before they even get to do that now most of these comments are saying what happens if I'm level 200 SHD? Well, you can't do it until you're 1300. Well, what if I don't even want to do this? Or or what if I just avoid doing a new character? I can easily get to 25 expertise. Sure, you can do that, but it's going to take you months compared to taking me a few days. You see what I'm saying? So you're going to have to do it anyway. Whether you want to or not, you're going to have to do it. Now you don't, but just know this is a five to six year old game, Dev. You gotta, t you gotta start realizing that, hey, in division three, we will probably not do this again because it's causing new players and returning players to quit early because they don't wanna go through a grind of a five year old, five to six year old game. They wanna start, you know, be able to ha be on the same basis of damage with everybody. But me personally, guys, those are 1300 or above 2500 or above would you be mad if they just said hey we're gonna not give expertise system anymore we're gonna take it away and everybody is the same damage i personally wouldn't be mad because at the end of the day new players and returning players are actually getting to enjoy the game and play i would rather have new players and returning players come into the game and all of us be at the same level no matter how many hours or months or years I spent into this game because I would rather have new players come in to to um to promote to promote the game especially cuz you're going to have new creators but also to populate the game again so matchmaking is always populated 
when you click on a matchmaking or a call for backup, you're getting people to come help you. All right. So what's setting us back is this expertise system. Now, as you can say, they should have get rid of the game. I'm not doing this at all for five to six year old games. See, that's what I'm saying. These comments are literally what people are saying. I'm not coming out of thin air saying this. Literally, I'm just re reiterating what the community is saying and what these new players are saying. We don't have time for people quitting and not coming to this game after five to six years. You gotta realize now, devs or anybody in the community that's listening, we need to do something where, hey, okay this is five to six year old game we're gonna just increase new players or give them a bonus xp to go ahead and knock out all this proficiency and stuff to catch up faster there's no point for um a new player coming in now to grind years of time or a lot of people don't even have time you got to think about people with families people in school Whatever the case may be, people don't have in 12, 15, 16 hours to, to grind out this game every single day to catch up. So I'm saying to you guys, hey, expertise system sucks, guys. L let's be honest here. Let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree. But these comments are not lying. All right. We're talking about years, man. I'm saying the same stuff, but I'm not saying the same stuff because every person that is in these comments, as you guys read, are saying similar uh, stuff. So I'm just reiterating that. Man, look, guys, seriously, I mean, you guys, I know you guys agree with me on this. Speed running, of course, people are going to say speed running is just knowledge. And of course, you're going to say, oh, you don't need 25 expertise to do this or this or that or that or whatever the case may be but sure what else you have to do after you grind out every gear or weapon in the game well all you have left is expertise so either way you're going to get to 25 expertise or if not you're going to stop playing and play other games which which one would you rather do I mean, it's up to you at the end of the day, but speed running, people are saying, oh, well, you don't need this or that to, to complete a speed run at a fast time. I'll tell you one thing. If you match up the best speed runners with the best speed runners and they both have the same knowledge and one has 25 expertise and the other one has 15, one is going to complete the, uh, the speed, uh, the speed running a lot faster than the other. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the ones with the most damage. Anyway, that being said, expertise is very important no matter how you look at it, okay? So when new players and returning players realize this, they're going to say, no, I'm not doing this for a five or six year old game. I'm way behind. I might as well just try somewhere else, maybe Call of Duty or whatever other game is out right now, you know? So that's another thing. Uh, what other thing? Another issue we have to talk about is the exotic components oh my god bro what the exotic components listen you guys know how long it takes to farm an exotic component and you know you need at least 40 now they cut it down from 140 i believe back when uh before uh project resolve but they cut it down to 40 even still that's still a long grind because a lot of people number one especially at a low level before a thousand H SHD because that's when you max out your uh, stats are not going to go into PVP to farm the exotic components because you know why they're not going into PVP a lot of PVP players that are in there love to pick on smaller and uh, low levels because they're easy targets and a lot of low levels are very sick of that and they don't want to be farmed trying to get exotic components trying to catch up it's already tough as it is so that being said guys there's a lot of issues dealing with the expertise system it is causing a lot of players in 2024 maybe even 2025 to uh not come back and yes they're going to come out with a new dlc will this dlc stop expertise will it help new players or returning players come back we don't know let me know in the comments what you think and 
let me know your experience with the expertise system. Do you agree that it sucks? Me personally, I think it does. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Like I said, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. If you guys are interested in Rogue Energy, make sure you go to rogueenergy.com and use a Kings 10 for a discount of 10%. What do they serve to you? All right, so they provide energy supplements at a healthy alternative, okay? One of the best and easiest ways to get energy using completely healthy ingredients, okay? We're talking amino acids and we're talking about a lot of vitamins. So make sure you guys check out, they got a lot of different flavors, different tubs, they even got shakers. So go ahead and check it out. And if you're interested, use A Kings 10 as the code for checkout. All right, see you guys in the next video.